Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah Smile to Jannah <laughs> Did Modi use the two cans? Amoman actors time par nahi aate Aur ek jagah to kabhi ikatthe nahi hote To is film ki wajah se, aap ki wajah se Hum logo mein thoda sa Gandhi, Gandhi ji ke wajah se Uh oh I think the truth slipped out. The Prime Minister of India is known for extremism. Mr. Modi has said in this interview, and I quote, I'm a Hindu nationalist, I'm patriotic, there's nothing wrong with that. And violence, be it the 2002 riots of Gujarat. News magazine Tehelka has made some startling claims in a sting operation implicating Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi directly in the Gujarat riots. By not saying it again, by not letting people hear the message repeatedly, you're allowing an image that is contrary to the interest of Gujarat to continue. It's in your hands to change it. Oh, I'll have to rest. Or the current lockdown in Kashmir. And now he's on a mission to change his image and he's using the Bollywood stars to help facilitate this. In fact, I've done an entire video to show how his party has infiltrated Bollywood and how it's affected the industry we know of today. They have their own members as presidents of the Film and TV Institute, they have members on the censor board, they have small groups like Shiv Sena who act as thugs silencing anyone who says something negative about the country or shows any sympathy to Pakistanis by interrupting movie releases and even threats. Now because of this, those celebrities who have made the industry their identity and the purpose of their life have left themselves no choice but to bow down to the current government. Because let's face it, the current government can take away the identity leaving them with nothing. A couple of days ago Modi used the 150 year anniversary of Gandhi as an excuse to invite the Bollywood stars over. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what's going on here ladies and gentlemen? Considering Gandhi is known for non-violence and the fact that Modi's part of RSS who were allegedly responsible for Gandhi's assassination, either Modi's taking the mick or the people of India have missed the irony of the entire event. I can't believe it. <laughs> he called a bunch of celebrities and many A-listers amongst them Shah Rukh Khan and Amir Khan. Videos were recorded and uploaded for Modi's YouTube channel but what's interesting to note here is their body language. They seem like they're under pressure and uncomfortable. I got this from their lack of eye contact, their hand movements and their waffling. Of course it could be the fact that they've just been caught off guard and they have to be very careful with their choice of words. Well it was a really wonderful interaction that we had with the Honourable Prime Minister today. And, uh, it was lovely to hear his thoughts and he was very uh, inspiring, very warm and, and very, very uh, deep in, his, in what he had to say. No I also feel yeah, the, the fact that you know I think this, uh, this kind of uh, interaction was really yeah, good. Yeah, it's, it's very nice. Yeah. But it was the selfies that actually caused the stir because I guess selfies are very organic and very personal. Maybe that's why Modi loves them so much. <laughs> so you had selfies like this one. Here we can see two great actors with a legendary actor in the middle. <laughs> These two cannot match the Modi. I don't think I'm such a good actor that I can be a politician. Naturally a lot of people were cheesed off seeing these two in a selfie with Modi. We saw a bit of photoshop anger and of course references were made to Kashmir and the ongoing violence. Naturally these two messed up but the mentality of India now is anytime you speak against the BJP, be it a celebrity, he made a small comment about the rise of intolerance and again got battered for it nationwide. Adityanath continues to be defined after he compared Shah Rukh Khan to terrorist Hafiz Saeed, the defined BJP leader. Shah Rukh Khan lives in India but his heart is in Pakistan. Let's move on to Amir Khan. He spoke out against Modi for the Gujarat massacre and his movie Fana literally got banned. 
He also spoke out against intolerance and how his wife thinks of moving. His career was literally shaken to the core to such a degree that there was a public award for slapping him and people telling him to move to Pakistan. Be it a country. Reports have emerged of India not going ahead with a proposed prime ministerial visit to Turkey by the end of this year. This comes amid India's toughening stance vis-a-vis two countries that have constantly backed Pakistan, those two countries being Turkey and Malaysia. Be it even a Nobel Prize winner. But despite a Nobel Prize, a world recognition, Apajit Banerjee has received, has received much criticism from the BJP government. It's clear you can't speak out. India has now become a totalitarian country and they don't accept dissent from their people. So the Khans are in a bit of a pickle. Damned if you do and damned if you don't. Maybe they're thinking that if they were to befriend the Prime Minister they could steer him in the right direction and reduce the damage. But then again guys we have ample evidence from history that that just empowers these fascist leaders. Hitler is amongst one of them and there are you know a few interesting parallels that have been drawn between Modi and the RSS and Hitler and the Nazis. The question can be asked what if it was their families in Kashmir? Would they follow this strategy? So it's a bit of a tough one to be honest. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Until next time! <laughs> Assalamu alaikum